Let's try other options. And so they're pretty understandable. We can take an element, go to Item Tools, then Zoom. The same option that we used to in this tab. Then we can go anywhere, take another item, focus on it. And networks make our scene, and the center of the scene is the object. It's pretty simple. Another one we can take. And this one is going to be the center of the scene. Focus on it. Okay. And the height is pretty simple too. We can take object, hide it, unhide it, hide, unhide. And the last thing from this list is require. Okay, let's do it require. And now nothing is changing. But what is this option? When the models are really huge and large with many, many details and many elements, and when we are transferring through the model, we can sometimes see that network turn off some of these elements. But if we take the element and make it require, it will not turn off any time. So if you need, for example, to see all your structure elements always at the view while transferring the model, while rotating the model, rotating the scene, you should take on the model and set it like a require. And why do Novice work? Why does Novice work have such kind of behavior? Because he wants to use not all the resources of the computer. So he makes it's easier for the computer to observe the model and to make it easier to the machine. But if we really need some elements to be shown, we should take them and make them require. And then we can unrequire them.